guys welcome back to my channel vibing after dark underscore with mo and if you're new to my channel how about hit that subscribe button and if you're a returning subscriber how about send it to a family or a friend so they can vibe out with us and please 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 make sure y'all like this video that helps out a lot and thanks in advance okay so as you can tell by the title in the thumbnail we are going to be talking about miss carlissa going off on Jaden and blueface and we also going to be talking about chris sean's reaction to Jaden and blueface going on the jason lee show now, they both spoke on both of them because they was asked the questions about them, so they answered. And Krishan actually played it cool about her feelings towards Jaden. And it seemed like they can probably get along in the long run if Jaden changed her heart about the situation because Krishan actually feels sorry for Jaden. And she basically said that, you know, he's doing the same thing to her that he did to Rock or whatever. So she understands Jaden's, you know, role in the situation. And Jaden is still hurt by the whole situation of Blue bringing Krishan in the picture in the first place and all everything that went down between them. So I can understand Jaden not wanting to even speak to Krishan, talk, talk about her or anything. I can understand that. But at this point, to me, it seemed like it's only when Jaden is ready to, you know, have that sit down talk with Krishan. But at this point, Jaden says she don't feel like they'll ever have a sit down talk. But I feel like Jaden has to get to the point where she see that blue face is really the problem. And when she see that, then they, them two, to me, can get a Both of them is like head over heels in love with blue face. So he can do basically what he want in to both of them and they both will be right there running by his side like hands down it doesn't matter what he does to them they'll still be right there like i've watched some of the interview i have not watched the whole thing yet so i can bring you more clips tomorrow on updated videos about it when i watch the full thing in entirety because i end up falling asleep not because it was boring but i just end up falling asleep because it's my nap time but anyway that's beside the point but Carlissa went straight off on the both of them because they felt like she, they mentioned her name. And I'm like, Carlissa talk about Jaden like a dog all the time. Even just the other day when she showed her butt and she said her butt looked better than Jaden's butt. She didn't have to put Jaden in that, but she did. So she talks about Jaden more than Jaden ever talks about her. But she went off. It was funny, but she went off. But I actually like Jaden, and I actually feel sorry for Jaden. Jaden is somebody that's just, like I say, in love with him. And she takes anything. And she felt like because of their years in their relationship mean more than just giving up on him. But when she comes to her senses, she'll come to her senses. And until then, that's just her. And if she like it, I love it. But I'm about to play y'all what Jason Lee asks in Carlissa's response. And then I'm going to come and bring y'all what Krishan had to say. His mom wanted to hook him up with Megan and Stein. What I think about it, it was a clout reach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, the clout reach. You know what I've decided? They just gonna be ungrateful, and this the way they gonna go out. They ungrateful to their core. Ungrateful. Who buys a restaurant and then say come? We were supposed to talk about it first, and then I was gonna give you some arrangement. Then you tell me the girl gonna come and help. When all she did was come and complain, get drunk on the job, whine and complain about the other girl that you running around with. Now I'm trying to run a business, trying to work with a drunk already can't count at the register. Come on somebody. So come on somebody, cause we gonna talk about what I've been through. I've been through too much for them not to be giving me nothing but flowers right now. Okay? I tried to save you from the Black Power Ranger and then now you want to try to blame me for <laughs> man if you don't stop playing with me the account all she could do is sweep and mop and cook you better leave my name out your from now on this the last day i'm gonna tell y'all leave me out don't put if you ain't got nothing y'all if these ain't got nothing nice to say to me don't have no say nothing at all okay because when i met the wide body back he had a 2.0 gpa okay which I would have never let one of y'all have. She did bring that shit up. We did help her bring that shit up, but I'm telling you what she had when we met her, okay? I did not want her at my house visiting my son and none of that because I did want him to have someone that looked like me. Now, what about all them them black girl jokes that she be making, them, them dark skinned girl jokes? I just act like I don't hear you because I just look at you because you look like your mama and his grandmama. 
okay? <laughs> and it, it didn't ever bother me because I already knew what you was going to look like in about five years. And you're right on schedule. Okay, so don't bring my name up unless you want to get unless you want to go to work. You moved out because your band was over there with a black girl, and you couldn't out it. You took my daughter up over there and got her into that, got her into the fight with the girl. The girl lost her tooth. All that Joe playing with me. Now today is gonna be the last day. I don't want you bringing up my name no more. It's okay when Rock bring it up because we have cold. Y'all must go down the road and don't never come back. Don't bring my name up no more. I don't f you. I do not f you. I don't f with no drunk get online and try to lie on me. When Rock told her, she told the truth. This what his mama said. This what his mama did. She didn't approve of me. We got into it. That's what it was. You snake. It's a whole nother trick. Use a snake. Bitch. He going to figure your out too. He should have said, don't bring my mama name up. She had enough already when I just got done getting ran over by the Power Ranger. She had enough already. Said, now, don't bring my name up no more, Molly May. Don't do it again. You ain't got no more rights to bring up my name. Take your ass on down the road, okay? Your kids is bad. They running around acting like they ain't got no home training. My grandson should not be running around slamming open doors, getting ready to box somebody out. What did you think? She not fucking playing with me no more. No, ma'am. Because I might can't beat Rock's ass, but I surely can. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> you better stop playing with me, little girl. I done had enough. I'm serious. I done had enough. Enough is enough. And if y'all don't want to take on the little baby, that's fine. Go to hell. Do what you do. But remember what you do to other people's kids. Don't come back ten times to you. So y'all can do what y'all want to do after this. Don't bring up my name no more. I won't bring up your name no more. I don't need your clout no more. I got my own motherfucker. So uh, peace and deuces and love and whatever. And when the wide body back go do, just leave me up out of it. Okay? Because you could have told that grandma, look like a, don't bring my mama name up in this. That's what you could have said. You don't, you can't light a candle next to her. Just leave her alone. That's what you should have said. But no, you climbed, chimed on in with the wide body. You didn't like, we wasn't cool again. Knowing she trying to starve somebody when I already know you was going to starve in the end anyway. Now stop playing with me. I had enough. Now I done went through all the power, the last Power Ranger bitch you threw. Just tell me, my mama's off limits. That's what you tell them from now on, okay? Tell them all that your mama is off limits. Out here looking like she 45 years old. That's why the can't take them glasses off. The filter on Jason Lee. How about that? You need a filter on your ass, too. <laughs> Don't be mad at me. Be mad at yourself. I ain't did nothing to you. That was between you and John. You over here holding on to my hand, praying with me one day, and then the next week you don't share her show. Girl, you are something else. Something You something else. You've been something else. Your mama need to disown you too, because I know she don't like the way you treat her neither. I know she don't. Big, wide, body, back, fit. Girl, you better be not. So y'all heard what Carlissa had to say. When she referring to, like, the Black Power Rangers, she's talking about Chris John. And my thing is, too, I wonder if she's talking so much about Krishan because she really just trying to get Krishan good graces and want to see that baby. Because she been talking better about Krishan lately and talking a whole bunch of trash about Jaden. So I don't know what's up with that because, like I said, again, Jaden don't really mention her too much, but she always mentioning Jaden. So let me play y'all what Krishan had to say. Oh, you fuck Megan a stallion. His baby mama should have popped the shit out of him in his mouth when when he said he such and such and such and such. Like that interview he did with her with the Jason Lee show is kind of crazy. I watched a little bit of it. And I'm just like disappointed because I see why I was fighting and always in, in jail. Yo really be disrespecting sh people just, just for comments and likes. And the viralness, that's just disrespectful because it's like, damn, Shorty really went back to you to prove that she with you so heartily. 
And your is literally talking about how you fuck Megan a stallion doing you was that nigga back then. You still that nigga and nobody get enough credit. Why are you doing that in her interview with you? You was supposed to handle that right, my nigga. You guys believe in you doing it right. You look good. You eating good. Y'all not eating good. Looking good. Y'all ain't bad. Y'all already showed this video. All right. Matter of fact, I'm going to let Jason Lee drop what I got in my phone. Because I have a lot of receipts. I got the bitch crying blue running in the background. Y'all really want to go. I try to not indulge. And it's crazy because I didn't want to diss blue. Y'all know I don't want to diss blue, bro. Like, on God, I didn't want to diss blue. You guys made it home? But I'm telling you. They was name dropping and and she just doing this looking at her looking at her watch. I'm like, Jason Lee, that's crazy, yo. That's sad that That's sad, yo. So you about to use her as a pawn, just like how you did me. She don't get no money, just like how you did me. I think we should do a show, Survival Blueface. I survived that God. Now, I agree with Krishan to a certain extent. And what I mean by a certain extent, I'm saying Krishan sounds so good when she talking to us about certain things. But then she do totally the opposite. Like, she was like, we should make a show about surviving Blue. Like, you saying do a show about surviving Blue, I can understand if you was done. But if Blue call her right now, she going to write the Blue right now. So, you talk a good game, but you're doing the opposite of what you're talking about. So, make it make sense. But that's all I have to say about the situation. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video in the comment section below. I do comment back. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.